Okay, so let's go through the five one working together and on your own. The first thing that it's gonna ask us to do is look at the different types of endorsements. And so the first endorsement they want us to fill out is a blank endorsement. A blank endorsement is gonna have the signature only and nothing else, and that's our least favorite one. The special endorsement transfers money, which means it pays to. So the very first thing we wanna write is we wanna pay it to the order of Kelsey. And then we have to sign saying, yep, it's okay, we're gonna pay this check to Kelsey. In the last example, we're wanting a restrictive endorsement and we're depositing into Balsam Lake accounting. So we wanna say this is for deposit only to Balsam Lake. And then again, we need to sign off that it's okay that this check only goes to Balsam Lake. So those are the three types of endorsements, pretty easy. And now we're gonna be working on creating a check and a check stub. So the first thing it says is record a balance brought forward on check stub number 78 of 1805.75. So here's our check stub number 78, and I'm gonna grab 1805.75 and put it in that balance brought forward line right there. And I know the boxes are kind of off, so I'm sorry. And then it says number two, record a deposit 489 on October 30th. Okay, so we want to go and our deposit is gonna be on this line right here. So on the deposit check stub, we have two date options. This is a small tiny box, so we have to use this small date. So on October 30th, we deposited $489. And now I have a subtotal line. So a deposit, remember, is adding money into my account. So if I grab my calculator, 1805.75 plus for my deposit, 489 equals $2,294.85. So there's my subtotal right there. And now I filled out my deposit. And now I'm ready to head on to number three, which is to prepare my check stub and the check using October 30th and I'm writing a check to Corner Garage for repairs for $162. So now that I have the space, I can fill out the whole date right here, and then I'll bring the date right over onto my check stub on the left, and I am paying the Corner Garage. So I'll put the Corner Garage under Pay 2, as well as my 2 line on the check stub. And now I'm gonna put my amount. So this check is for $162, and I'll carry that over to the stub. And then I'm gonna write that out. Here's just another way that you can write a dollar amount out if there is no sense. You can just write even and dash it off. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my four line, which is for repairs, and I'll copy that over to the four line on the check stub. And then I need to sign off on the check that it's good. And now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fill out the rest of my check stub over here. So I have nothing that gets marked in this other, so I can bring my subtotal just down again. So I'm working with $2,294.75 was in the bank. I wrote this check for $162. And now remember when we write checks, we subtract. So I'm gonna take my subtotal and I'm gonna subtract $162. And I should have 2,132.85 as my final amount on this check. And now we're gonna do another check and it's asking us to record the balance brought forward on check number 78. So I want to, if I don't remember, I'm gonna go back and on check number 78, here's the balance carried forward 2132.75. So I'm gonna start there 2132.75 for my balance brought forward. And now I'm gonna write this check of October 30th to St. Croix Supply for $92. So let's go with October 30th for my date on both my check and my stub. Goes to St. Croix Supply and it is for $92. And then I am writing out $92 on my check. And this is for supplies. So I'm gonna drop supplies in my four lines and I'm gonna sign off on my check. And now I'm gonna go back and work on my stub. In this example, I have nothing that I'm depositing, so that subtotal can just be brought down to the subtotal here. I have nothing in the other category, so I don't have to do anything there, so I'm just bringing it down. And now I can fill out, this check was $92. And if I subtract, because I wrote a check, that means I have to pay, should be left with 204085. And yep, here we go, 204085. And that takes care of 
filling out checks and check stubs and endorsements.